I'm gonna give you guys some ways to get the materials for free um, some ways to rush a little bit with the Marie shop but at the end of the day you'll still be stuck but at least you know where you can get free materials so you should start with Artitine. there's this hut there's a quest that will lead you to Bikini Island that's been renamed to what? What is it called? It's called Iwana Island. Okay, now I'm not gonna go to all these islands um, once again because I'm not a great Twitch streamer or YouTuber. So let's go to the world map. So we're gonna start with Stern. And then we're gonna go to the harbor. And then we're gonna sail, right? We wanna go to Peito. Peito first. Who remembers all this shit? Why do we go to Peito? Right there. Yeah, just complete the objectives. Okay, Peito win. You shut the fuck up. Complete the objective on the ship and leave, right? We're gonna go next to Fomona. Fomona Island. Fomona Island. This island is nice. It's easy. Okay, there's a purple quest there. And you'll get charisma and then there's gonna- it's really easy. All right, you get mats from Fomona. All these islands, we're gonna get mats. Tier two mats. Next, we go to Awana Island. There's yellow quests and purple quests. Do those for a lot of mats, okay? Next, we're gonna go to Little Luck Island. Little Luck Island, which is over here. All right. Little Luck Island, you're gonna complete an objective for the White Wave Island, and then we're gonna go into Liebeheim. Liebeheim is really nice. Right there. It's all around here, guys. All around here. So we're going to Liebeheim. There's gonna be a purple quest. That purple quest will lead to Shushare. I did the rest of it. I remember getting some match from the rest of it as well. And then we have... But you don't have to go to Shushare yet. You stay in this path. You stay in this path. You go to the dance club, right? The Reverie Row. Go to Reverie Row. And then you'll get another mm, purple quest and a normal quest. Okay, next, this Torted Island. We're gonna go a little bit west. Go to this Torted Island, which is right here. It's one of my favorite fucking islands. When you come to this Torted Island, you go to this entrance. You can't access the minimap. It'll be locked. So what you have to do is you have to go through the sides right here. So I wanted to personally come visit this island, show you guys. Compared to the other islands, they're pretty straightforward. So you go in here, and there's like this bald dude. Kind of looks like Asmongold. But kind of looks like me in a few years as well. Um, you gotta find them, basically, without... You don't have the minimap. It's like a little puzzle. It's, it's called this Distorted Island, boys. It's supposed to be a puzzle. So basically, there's a purple quest, and you follow it. He jumps around rooms. You don't know what room he'll be in. Just go find this dude, okay? This dude right here. It gives a lot of mats, and then eventually, he'll stop fucking around, and he'll give you a quest to go do a cube. What you need to do is, you do chaos dungeons, and then you'll get a cube ticket. So whether it's tier 1, tier 2, you get this ticket, and then you could... I prefer you guys do it in a party. I think EU matchmaking is instant. Not sure, might be wrong, but you wanna find a group, make a group, okay? Even if you fail the cube, you'll get the quest complete, but you wanna complete the cube as high as possible because it gives mm, a chest. The chest scales off your progress in the cube and you get great artwork or now they call masterpiece and you get the moon's breath. I think I got like 10 the other day. You get some engravers, engravings. But yeah, cube, whether you fail or win, you'll complete the quest. So you get the cube from Chaos Dungeons. Now, can I repeat the Chaos Dungeons more than twice to get the cube tickets? The answer is no. It has to drop from your two attempts for the day. Who drops it? The boss in the Chaos Dungeons. Okay, the... For tier 2 cube, you usually get one ticket per week. Unless you skip the day or something, or you got shit luck. But I think you guaranteed one per week in tier 2. Same thing with boss rush. So after you complete the cube, go back to the guy in Distorted Island. And then you'll get a lot of rewards. You get, you get a lot of rewards, man. It's the fat, the, the fat, juicy stuff is at the end. 
okay? When you complete everything. Now, Outlaw Island, you want to go there as well. Um, you'll get a quest objective for White Wave Island. For me, I didn't have a quest because I already finished the White Wave Island. Just check it. If there's nothing there, just leave. Uh, Twilight Isle, I did Twilight Isle. That was, yeah, Hella Mats in there. Gravis Island, right there. Gravis Island has purple normal. Hypnosis is a very good island. You want to do this. It will unlock a daily that gives you stones. A lot of stones. Like Calthrez. And I, I know I'm mispronouncing that. Anyways, Hypnosis is really good. If you go to the aisle, this NPC for Affinity is great as well. But this aisle, you'll get purple and normal quests. So you do all the purple normal quests. But at the end, when you think you finished everything, there is a hidden quest in the cabin here. There's like a camera that is glowing, right chat? On the first floor, there's like a camera that's glowing in the cabin. Yep, yep, says chat. So make sure you do that as well. Mats, 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 baby. All right, that's it for the islands. Just kidding, there's one more. <laughs> there is the Azure Wind Island. For this one, um, yeah, I will just, Use the map. There's so many maps for this, but Max Roll has a good one for this. There's a lot of good Korean ones, but you guys, of course, don't understand that one. So I'll link the Max Roll one. Um, this island is hella decked. It takes a while. I suggest you guys have the image file open in Paint and cross it off so that you don't get lost. Because once you get lost and you're trying to backtrack. What you didn't do or what you missed oof you, you could lose like a couple hours here man you could lose a couple hours but at the end man once you complete it guys whoo you get so many mats like make sure you guys also check the welcome challenge okay as you do these islands there was one like this one when you finish the azure wind you get these shards you get some rocks i think it was like 30 rocks it's a lot of mats now, for the second to last one in this island, you need a song to finish the second to last step. It's the Heavenly Harmony. Heavenly Harmony song comes from Harmony Island. The way you check that is the compass. Originally, you're supposed to check the compass, but compass is bugged right now. Nothing's hiding it, right? There's a calendar up here. So until that shit is fixed, we use the calendar. Today's date. Check right hand side. Adventure Island. Is there harmony today? No. It rotates. What about tomorrow? Adventure Island. Is there harmony? No. Fuck. Um, let's see. Saturday. Harmony? There it is, boys. So, Harmony Island. Set your alarm. Apple Watch. Whatever you gotta do. Saturday, you can get your song from Harmony Island. Check the time, go there, uh, participate, make sure you participate to get the yellow trophy. If you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, just participate. If you AFK, you won't get the chests. You just need one golden trophy, not all three. If you have zero, you don't get the chest. So if you get those three chests, it has a chance to, yeah, contain the Heavenly Harmony song and Island Token. It's a high probability, but there are people that didn't get it. So it may take you a couple runs. Now, that is it for the islands, I believe. Okay? Another way is, like, since we're here on the welcome challenge, make sure you guys do all the guardian bosses, right? Like, guardian raid, dark, raid, raid, okay, whatever. Get that shit done. Helgaia, you see those? I've never ran out of those. I've never ran out of these called their fusion materials. The game gives you all of them for free. Just do the welcome challenges. Click on them, guys. Look at this. Abyss Dungeon. Do the Abyss Dungeons. Abyss Dungeons. Get the additional loot when you do the Abyss Dungeons. They give you hella mats. If we do Yorn and Phaeton, like even the story quests give mats, but if you do the normal quest, the yellow quests, they give mats. I think Yorn gives a legendary card. Phaeton gives skill points. The purple quest gives us skill points. I think it's in my quest journal. This one, you get a skill point, you get some mats. Also, the dungeons 
just like Rohendel, Yorn Dungeons and Phaeton Dungeons. So if you did it in normal, do it in hard. Okay. Phaeton. Oh shit, I gotta- oh man, I'm gonna get some mats, dude! Yeah, so there are mats in there. First time rewards, first time rewards. And then there is a merchant ship. The merchant ship sells mats, and it's a weekly reset per character. Per character. So if you have ults in tier 2, this will help you. If you don't have ults in tier 2, which most of us don't have, pretty sure 99.9% .9 don't have, but you still want to buy this on your main. Just get a few of these, like 10. Okay, just get a few of these. I gotta show it every, every time. Just get 10. Don't overdo it. Okay. Convert it to power coins. Go in here and buy out the stuff you need. You'll need this, most importantly, the shards. You're gonna need a lot of shards. And these as well. Remember, shards are not tradable. So if you have a tier 2 alt, I mean, you still wanna buy this anyways. Anyways, that's. Use this for free mats. Where else do we get mats? Chat. We get them from Chaos Dungeons. So clear the Chaos Dungeons. The highest one you can clear. Now, there are some people using this strat. You don't have to use this strat. This is like Rush Boy strat. They hit 600 item level and then they finish the quests in Yorn, unlocking the Yorn Chaos Dungeons. But instead of doing the Chaos Dungeons, they go straight to the auction house. Because they are 600 item level, they can now equip and buy 600 item level tier 2 gear. Now, if you're thinking, man, I'm just, you could just buy gear to jump eye level? No, dude. If you're in tier 1, you can't buy the, it's, it's red. I can't buy this shit. I mean, I could, but I can't fucking wear it. You can't skip shit. So you have to get to 600 item level. It says it right there in the tooltip. Okay? So some people are buying this and then not doing Chaos Dungeons until the end place. of the day. They do the islands, like I said, in the first part of the video or the stream, if you missed it, right? And then what they do is level that up to like 960 eye level. And then they do the 9... I'm just saying 960, but I don't really know. Is it 940, 960? Depends how much you complete. They go do Phaeton. They go do Phaeton. And then they do the Phaeton Chaos Dungeons. Because it gives more mats. You could... You could do that sweat strat. You don't have to. If you hit 600 item level, you finish Yorn, you unlock this part right here. Then you could just go here, get the gear for free. But if you get unlucky and you didn't get all the pieces that day and you feel sad, the auction house exists. Okay? Just mentioning that out there, boys. Throwing that out there, boys. But if you want to sweat, you want to do all the islands, you have many, many, many hours until the daily reset. Then push the islands. Okay, after buying the gear from the auction house, upgrade it with the mats from the islands to 960 eye level, do Phaeton, and then do the Phaeton Chaos Dungeons for more mats. But once again, man, is it worth it? That's up to you. The next thing is, after you do Chaos Dungeons, the next thing is, if you do more than two runs per day, you get these tokens. So you can do the infinite chaos dungeon strat and buy all of this shit out, okay? Buy all of this out. This is weekly, so every week you can just buy all of this. And of course, guardians, do the guardians. And then don't forget to do the first clears for the first clear boxes. By now, you guys know the rules anyways. You guys know the rules anyways, I don't have to explain that in detail. Alright, how you don't have to claim the loot. You can click it off. You guys know that. By now, right? Hopefully, like you just want to kill this guy for the first time loot, but you don't want this stuff right here. You can click it off. Now, in town, in the capital city, there is a vendor called Bloodstone Exchange. Bloodstone Exchange is the currency that you get from being in a guild. So we can exchange these stones for honing materials. All right, so tier two mats. If this is red, that means your guild is too low. And if you want to fucking gamble, I did this on stream, I got lucky. But boss rush right here. If you want to get that boss rush ticket, you could buy this chest. But you could just get silver or the cube ticket. Cube is still win. 
Cube is still win, but boss rush is hella win. Right? Because if you go into weekly, you get mats from here as well, right? This one gives the most shards. You'll need shards. You'll need rocks. You'll need rocks. Um, boss rush, 24. Okay? Tier 2, same thing. 24 tier 2 blue stones. So that's a weekly quest. And boss rush, just like cube, the ticket drops from the chaos dungeon. It's just a random chance. If you didn't get one last week, it's because you were in tier 1. Tier 1, there's no boss rush. You can do it solo, actually. You don't even need a group. If you do it with a group, that's great. Complete the 15 waves within the time limit. There's a bonus loot time window on the left-hand side. It's, it's fairly easy, guys. It's scaled to 802, so it's pretty easy. Like I said, if you do the islands, you should be like 960, maybe 1,000 eye level. I think I, I just jumped all the way to 1,000. So you'll get these rocks and the masterpiece as well. I got a lot of masterpiece already. I think I got all four. Anyways, you get like 70 or 80 rocks and hella blue gems. It's a lot of rocks plus the weekly. So it's like a, almost 100 blue rocks. It's, it's going to help you a lot. And speaking of these Una tasks, which you press Alt-J, do the dailies as well. Now, which dailies? Depends on what you need. I need right now shards, so I go for the ones that give me the most shards. And speaking of shards, where else can we get free shards? From, once again, the calendar, since the compass is broken, from Chaos Gates. Chaos Gates give mats. Okay, go do those for your appropriate eye level. So since you're tier 2, you should do the 960 one. Okay, located, it. it's right here. When it's time for it to spawn, go over there, go do it. And after you do the Chaos Gate, after you do it, I don't know the, the rule on your server or your, your region, but make sure to grab three other titties, I mean three other friends or pugs in general chat or something. Grab three people and do the maps together. Okay, that way you X for the rewards. You understand this is very important. Instead of doing the secret map yourself, you get a secret map at the end. Unless you AFK, then fuck. You get a secret map. Unless it bugs or you AFK or you didn't do enough damage, you get a secret map. With this secret map, in Korea, what we do is we group together. So we invite other people in general chat that have the blue maps, the secret maps. So four of us with the blue maps, we all go do each other's maps. We go take turns, do each other's maps, and we get X4 rewards. I don't know how it's done in US or e EU, but that's how it is in Korea, okay? Or if you just wanna do it with friends, that's even better. So let's say your friend Johnny got legendary map, then you can go leech that while you got the blue map. And maybe Susie got purple and Jimmy got blue. You, you can share all of that. It's a lot of mats, and that's how you see people sell shards. These are BOE. You can sell it, okay? Or you could just use it for yourself, because you'll need a lot of shards, okay? That's how you see people post these in the auction house from the chaos gates. Another way is from, once again, the calendar, pirate ships. Pirate ships give mats, engravings. It's once a week. It's once a week on one character on that roster. Chaos Dungeon is the day Chaos Dungeon is up, one character on that roster. Marisha, I made an entire video about this. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out that video how to get your gold into blue crystals. Turn it into blue crystals right now and buy some of these. Like, I'm buying the shards because you always need shards. Moon's Breath, high priority as well. Um, stones, yeah. So they're going to help you a lot. The Moon's Breath, you want to use these on your weapon. I'll do a completely different video on why and I'll back it up with math. But you want to use this on your weapon, boys. It's going to really help you. It is the tradition. It is a golden rule to use these on weapon. Weapon failing weapon upgrades hurt you the most. Okay? So the the more you can help yourself to succeed by getting those from either the auction house, which is the last step, the most expensive step. Barishop is mega cheap. Getting it for free in the cube is hella nice.
getting it from the pirate ship is hella nice. So, yeah. The last step, man, is the auction house. And that is where you'll, you'll, you'll have to pay a lot. But that is an alternative. <laughs> right? Am I missing anything else? Am I missing any other fucking way to get materials? Tower? How are you gonna do tower? I mean, yeah, you can do tower just like tier 1. You can do tower if you can get your ult to 802 eye level. Yeah, you could do tower if you have a tier 2 ult. I think most of us, like even my main ult is not tier 2. But yeah, technically you can do the tower. Remember, the first time rewards are these car packs and engravings. However, if you look at the tier 1 tower, it's the same thing. The second clears on your subsequent characters, which I already made a video about as well, you get mats. I'm just saying, for example, if this character clear tower, this character will get mats, this character will get mats, this character will get mats, this character will get mats. But only one time. All of them will get the mats just one time. You can't repeat towers. Tower don't reset. 